what's up everybody this is your boy dc hey today on Darius diamonds i'm just gonna kind of talk about multiple things maybe i don't even know i just know i got something on my heart something on my mind something that i want to talk about and uh i'm pretty sure it'll benefit a lot of you so listen up you know me and my boy we starting some classes we got uh, some trampoline workout classes that we're starting, and we're offering this, these classes at a pretty good price. But it's amazing to me how broke-minded people will come to you and then try to get you to change something that you believe in so strongly because they are like simple-minded. They're they're average-minded. They don't have like great thoughts on their head. So as soon as you start telling them something about what you have and what you're offering, what you're doing, they want to come back and try to tell you what you're doing wrong. But shh, what you doing? That's what I felt like today. We're talking to a guy. Now, he's not a bad guy. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not judging his character, but I am judging his mindset. I'm judging the fact that this dude don't know what it takes to run the business that we run it. He don't know what it takes. He hasn't seen the hours that we spent in, in, on the computer. He hasn't seen the hours that we spent designing, thinking, planning. This is not just a, what we did today, what we did a week ago. This is what we have been planning for months, for years. So for a person, for a broke-minded, and that's what I call them, broke-minded people trying to tell great-minded people that they shouldn't be great because they're average thinking. Look, if you have something you believe in, you go for it. Do not express and share your dreams with negative people. Once you start talking to somebody about something you believe in with all your heart, and they start telling you why you can't do something, get the hell out their face. Do not, do not listen to them. Because these people, and again, I'm not judging their character. I'm not judging them as people. I'm, just, I'm only talking about from the standpoint of chasing goals and dreams. Don't share it with these people. Move on. You only share greatness with great-minded people because when you do, great-minded people will encourage you. They will push you to go further. They will motivate you at on times and at times when you don't feel like you have it in you. That's what great-minded people do. Broke-minded people, average-minded people, every day sitting around doing nothing people, they're going to always try to put their fears off on you. Make you believe that you're not smart enough. You're not strong enough. You don't have enough in you to pursue things that's not easy for you to pursue. So today, that's what I, I kind of want to talk about that for the main part is you have a dream. Go for it. If you want to tie that to fitness, I also know clients that I train and they'll tell me as soon as they start working out, or they say they want to work out and they share with their friends who most of the time are out of shape themselves. They'll tell them, oh, I'm going to start working out. I have a trainer. First thing a person tell them is, oh, why are you working out? You don't need to work out. How are they going to tell you not to work out? They, they, don't, they don't know what you think. They don't know what you feel. If you feel like you need to work out, then you need to work out. Don't let somebody come along because they want to sit around and do nothing. And, and 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 they satisfied with their bodies, whether they're in shape or not, and then tell you not to. That's what I'm talking about. You share your dreams with people who are in your corner. They're in your corner. I'm not gonna make this video long. I'm about. I really want to go deep into that subject, but I'm not because I want to start keeping these videos a little shorter. But again, if you are great-minded. Share your dreams with great-minded people. Do not, I repeat, do not share your dreams with people who are okay with the status quo. They don't want to get out their comfort zone, and they don't want to take risks and challenges, and then they try to motivate you to do the same thing they're doing so you will continue to be in the same place they are. If you are tired of living that same life you live in, because I talk about this a lot, a lot, get up and get started and you will accomplish your dream. It may take three months, it may take a year, it may take two, it may take five, but at the end of the day, you will not be working for somebody else and, and chasing, helping somebody else build their dream for 50 years till you go to your grave. You will be able to pursue your own dreams. Much love, I hope this helped you. 
I'll get back with you with another video later. I gotta go. Bye.